The five themes of geography is continuing with the theme of human and environment interaction. Let's take a look at the basics. So first of all, the theme of human inter interaction with the environment is how humans impact and are impacted by the environment or the earth. How do humans depend on, adapt to, and modify or change the environment? There are two categories, human actions, such as pollution, deforestation and agriculture, use of natural resources and construction, and the environment, things like natural disasters, like tornadoes, floods, or drought, and natural resources being available for food, water, shelter, and products. Let's take a look at the three categories of how people interact with their environment. First, people depend on the environment. That means they count on the environment. Everything we have as a human race, we get from the earth. We get our food, our water, building our shelter, any of the materials we build our shelter with comes from the earth. Our clothing comes from the earth. Any natural resources, our heating, things like coal, gas, solar, wind power, come from the earth. Anything we need or want, anything that we buy, comes from the earth. Plants, anything we use from plants, animals, all of our food comes from the earth. Everything we have, we get from mother nature. So we depend on the environment. We count on the earth for survival. The second category is that people adapt to the environment. It means that they change what they are doing or how they act or what um, they need to do to react to what the environment um, produces. So for instance, if we live in a cold climate, we would wear warmer clothing. If we were going to a very hot climate, we might wear a lot less. So we change clothes depending on the environment. If it's raining outside, we adapt by bringing an umbrella or wearing a raincoat. Um, so we adapt or change when the environment um, gives us those reasons to do that. We build shelters in reaction to what the environment provides us. So if we're living along the equator in a warmer area, we do not need to worry as much about shelter and, and keeping the warmth inside of shelter. Whereas if we were living in Canada, you really need to protect yourself from the outside elements or humans would die. So we adapt to the environment by building proper shelters. We also prepare for the weather. If a storm is coming, um, we board up our windows. We might buy extra food. We might go to the grocery store to get bread. Um, we prepare for the weather. If there's going to be a flood, the town might get sandbags ready. Uh, we might bring an umbrella or, um, you know, we might wear suntan lotion. We might prepare for the weather. If we're going to the beach, we might decide we need to protect ourselves from the sun. So those are ways that we adapt to the environment. Um, we also plow for snow. So when it snows outside in New England, uh, we can't drive around our roads. So in some way, humans have to adapt to the environment by fixing what went wrong. And that's plowing snow is one example of that. The third category is that people change the environment. They modify the envi environment. We build houses and buildings, and that changes the environment. We build dams to create a water source for giving people fresh water. That impacts all the wildlife and all of um, the environment downstream. When we block a river or we block a stream to create a dam, we impact the environment. Cutting down trees impacts the environment. In fact, if we cut down too many trees, that's actually called deforestation, and it's actually dangerous for the planet. We pollute the air, we pollute the water, and we pollute the land. When we plant trees, that's benefiting the planet. When we recycle and we help save the planet by not using up our resources faster, that's one way we can help the environment. When we do farming or agriculture, we're, we're changing the environment. Transportation, when we build railroads or highways, we're changing the environment. We have an impact on wildlife, all the wild animals that live in our environment when humans build neighborhoods or streets or roads or towns or cities, um, we impact the wildlife that is, is, that's their natural home. 
We also impact the environment when we look for things like mining of natural resources or drilling for oil. All of these things impact the environment. Now, we could look at the environment and humans as having a relationship, because they do. The earth and humans are in a relationship. They rely on each other or they count on each other. Um, they help one another and they also hurt one another. So let's think about it. What are some ways that humans can help the earth? Get some answers in your brain. What are some ways that humans can help the earth? Well, one way that humans can help the earth is by planting trees, by making the planet safe for animals, by recycling, um, by putting trash and um, garbage in the right space or right place so that it doesn't impact wildlife. Um, we can use clean energy sources so that we can help the planet. What are some ways that the earth can help humans? Start to think of an answer in your head. What are some ways that the earth can help humans? Well, the earth actually provides us with everything we need. If I need food, water, or shelter, I have to get those materials from the earth. So in a way, humans cannot survive without the earth. And that's pretty helpful. What are some ways that humans can hurt the earth? Let's think of some examples. Here's one way that humans can hurt the earth. They can put plastic in the ocean and then that impacts the wildlife in the ocean. They can dump, um, dump pesticides or poisons onto the ground or if you dispose of things incorrectly at the dump or the transfer station, it leaks into the ground and it can affect our groundwater, our drinking water. It can also ruin the soil so that we can't grow things there. Um, humans can hurt the earth by cutting down trees. Trees provide us with oxygen and we need oxygen to survive. When we cut down too many trees, we disrupt the balance of nature. So humans can hurt the earth in many ways. What are some ways the earth can hurt humans? Well, the most common ways the earth can hurt humans is through natural disasters. When there's an earthquake, the earth is creating a big problem for humans. When there's a tsunami, people are in danger. Hurricanes, tornadoes, droughts where there's not enough water, wildfires. Um, when there's too much rain, flooding can cause life to be difficult for humans. So there's a lot of things that the earth can do to hurt humans. So basically, if we think about it, the relationship it's complicated. That is all for human interaction with the environment. Please feel to watch the video over again and pause for where you don't understand and you will be quizzed on this in class.